Hello, and welcome to Gray Cap Knits. Today, I'm going to show you how to do a tubular cast on flat with an odd number of stitches. So the first thing you're going to want to do is figure out how long to make your tail. Um, if I was going to cast on something that would have a finished width about this wide, I would do that three times. So we have one, two, three, and then I always add just a little extra for safety. Now you'll make a slip knot, slide that onto your needle, and when you work this, you're going to hold your tail in the front. This is my tail, so that will be in the front, and your working yarn in the back. This first stitch does count as your first stitch. It will be a knit stitch. So you're going to put your working yarn over your pointer finger, your tail over your thumb, and if this is our knit, we need to make a purl. So to create our purl, we're going to reach behind and under that back stitch, then over and under the front stitch to grab it and pull it underneath. Next, we're going to create a knit stitch. For the knit stitch, we're going to work under that front strand, then over and behind the back strand. Pull it through. Now we have a knit. Purl is under the back, over the front. Knit is under the front, over the back. Purl, under the back, over the front. Knit, under the front, over the back. Now you'll just continue that until you have your desired number of stitches on your needles. When you get to your final stitch, you can see that there's nothing holding the stitches onto the needles except for this hand. So you're going to be very mindful of that as you turn your work and you're just going to carefully rotate it. And I hold onto the tail with my back two fingers like that. Now this first stitch would, would normally be a knit stitch, but since we have an odd number of stitches in the round, it's a purl. Now just to anchor it to the needles, I'm going to work the first purl stitch. I'm going to purl it. So purl that first stitch. Now for the second stitch, you're going to knit through the back loop. The nature of the cast on twists that first stitch. So by knitting through the back loop, you're actually making that knit stitch straight. So knit through the back loop. Now for the next purl, you're going to bring your yarn to the front, slip the stitch purl wise, Bring your yarn to the back and then you're going to knit the next stitch through the back loop. Bring your yarn to the front, slip the next stitch purlwise, bring your yarn to the back, knit through the back loop. Yarn to front, slip purlwise, yarn to back, knit through back loop. Yarn to front, slip, back, knit through back loop. And you'll just do that until you reach the end of this row. And on the very last stitch, you'll bring your yarn to the front, you'll slip it purlwise, and you won't work it. Now when you rotate your needles again, this is the front side facing once more, and from here, we're just going to knit the first stitch, bring our yarn to the front, slip the purl stitch purlwise, bring our yarn to the back, knit the next stitch, yarn to front, slip purlwise, yarn to back, knit. Front, slip purlwise, yarn to back, knit. And you're going to continue in that same pattern until you reach the end of your row. Now, 
Now, if you were working in the round, this would be your final step. You would be able to just continue on from here. You have the front side facing, but because we're working flat, there's going to be one final setup row before we can start the actual work. Some patterns will show the setup row, some patterns will not. When I write patterns, I always leave a little explanation for the setup row. So for this setup row, you're just going to work across the back of your project as the stitches come. So you'll purl that first stitch, knit the next stitch, purl, knit, purl, knit, purl, knit, and continue to the end of the row. And there you have it. Now we have the right side facing us and we're ready to work our first row.